Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Ixion episode 10. I'm glad you're still sticking around and you're enjoying the content and well we're looking at our space station here at the moment. I'm quite busy around it as we can see, lots of these tiny repair ships that are repairing my hull at the moment all the time. And yeah, we are also in the process of researching something very important right now, because let's have a look at the station itself. Um, we do have a problem. We have overcrowding, right? We don't have enough people, enough uh, living space for all these people. Uh, we do need those people, though, in order to get the working conditions down. Otherwise, we are we are having just a very bad time right now uh, with also the trust issue, right? So working conditions is one of my primary goals. For that, we need to wake up more people. That I'm doing right now. This gives me a bit more workforce. Uh, we are researching right now the upgrade to the crew quarters that gives me, um, yeah, 40 crew members that can live in one of these quarters. So that's quite the step up that we have. This should solve the problem of the homelessness. And on the other side, um, we do have the ongoing problem with the trust that is um, because of all the negative effects, right? Death of the Earth, leaving behind, uh, discovering the fate of the Protagoras. This is all really... Uh, well, draining the morale of my people, and I do need to counter that somehow. Now, the research has been unlocked. With that, we can now, hopefully, go ahead and build as one of these optimized uh, crew member uh, quarters, right? Because I really won't want to uh, waste more space. So what we can do here is I can get rid of uh, this building here and of this building here. So this gives me back some alloys there as well. Something we can definitely use. Where are they going? Oh, okay, the storage is over there, so it's, it's going to take a, a while there. Ah, uh, there is hopefully some more iron coming in. Perfect. And also here, cryonic pots. We can wake up some people. Very good. So this is now gone, hopefully. Is it gone? There it is. And now we can place one of these right in here. And the cool thing is this one houses 40, right? So both of them here house 30. This one 40. So that would be 10 more for the same space. And I will do the same thing over there. By the way, uh, alloy-wise, since we're getting the full alloy back, it's only 10 alloy costs for us. So that is really not bad. And we can save some space with that. Uh, we can do this then throughout the quarters. I think we cannot just place it over it and call it an upgrade. <laughs> no, unfortunately, we cannot do this. Would have been very convenient because now we need to do it just step by step right but of course we can manage this working conditions are optimal by now so that is good we will still need to move a few over though to um to the other sector here so let's do this um i think double look oh it's quite a lot we need to move over 40 uh, people so i will definitely also need one crew member at least uh with the full scale um, for the 40, right? So we could probably do it here. Even here by the batteries. Let's do this. Because we can just easily squeeze it in there. Make the road connection completed. It's going to cost me a bit, but we should be fine. And by the way, since Hull Integrity is almost full, let's pause one of them to save us some alloys at the moment, right? And my second steel mill is missing some iron. There was so much iron coming in. But I think... I think they're not really using it. All right. Let's get back to space because we have a bit of work to do here as well. The first thing is we have reached the Protagoras again. And we have completed the repairs now of the superstructure. That was also quite expensive, right? And now we can... Um, we have completed repairs as we were finishing our last task. An invitation was found that had been left for us. Some of the older members of the Protagoras wish to meet us. All right. Let's meet the elders. Let's do this. We could also reboot the core systems, but since that is what I can do here, let's do this. And another very important thing is we need to mine the ice trapping the Protagoras. And we do have one miner ship. Let's actually put the priority to ice because we have our cargo ships here doing the, the thing with the iron anyway. And by the way, let's also stop the cryonic pots. I don't need them anymore. And let's put also iron here as the maximum again together with silicon. No, let's go with silicon. Since we do need that. And what I can do here is I can set a resource to mine the ice to high priority. So the mining ship should now always go to the Prot uh, Protagoras and mine the ice that is, trap that is trapping the ship. Um, however, one thing we need is, well, we do need storage for the ice that comes in then. So I will also need to build me a, a stockpile. So let's wait on that. All right. This has been disassembled. So let's go ahead and build the next high quality crew members. So they're... Just higher density overall, right? The middle space is gone. <laughs> so they have no windows there anymore. 
would still be totally fine though. So that's going to be another 40. Um, and this one is also now finishing up perfect. So that's more space coming in. And with that, we will be able now to move, yeah, 40 over. Let's do this. So we're going to move 40 crew members from sector one to sector two. And this is going to be quite, quite the shift that we can do now. I'm really, I'm really not happy with uh, how little iron we get in the steel mill though. But there's really not that much iron coming in at all, right? We do have some iron here right now. So it should actually get transported over. Ah, we have the minimum of 50. Let's put it to 30, right? So now we should see some transportation. There it is. Now it goes over so we can speed it up. But even then, even then we are really not getting a lot of, of um, iron in, right? Population transfer. Very good. Population transfer is completed. Still optimal here. Very close now here. A science ship team. And we have plenty of space more left. Let's actually move another 15 over from sector 1 to sector 2. Alright. Definitely do need to do some, some things here. Alright. Uh, Alois, it's, it's the ongoing problem always. Next up, um, I think we have... Yep, yeah, my science ship here at the gas planet. This is the screw of the scope. We have entered Parenti atmosphere. Equipment has been deployed, but the gravity of the planet may complicate our operations. Visibility is nil. Atmospheric corrosive factors are negligible. And what is the most expensive one? <laughs> Release microprobes into the atmosphere. This will cost me some polymers. We have plenty of that. Establish a weather station. Set up advanced infrastructure. Let's release microprobes. That sounds smart. Ah... Uh, Unloading resources. This one is moving right now. Let's go ahead and send one of my cargo ships for that. That's the only real downside to this. We actually use one cargo ship. Uh, the time of the cargo ship for now. Okay, perhaps we can find us some more iron close by. There should be something over there. Carbon and iron. And Pythagoras. Uh, it's usually always this, right? Has, has there ever been a positive effect out of these events? when I had the choice. And the elders, as they call themselves, have told us their story. They're among some of the last members of the crew to remember Earth. Many in the Protagoras do not remember their pasts. The elders blame Dolos, Trionic Technology, for this phenomenon. They testified to a significant difference between the crew of the Protagoras and that of the Etemenanki. The crew of the Etemenanki was mainly composed of people who had lived on Earth. According to the elders, Vol technology is more than just space travel technology. They believe each Vol jump by a Dolus vessel generates cataclysms, equivalent to the initial caused by the Tycoon. Alright, so very destructive overall. The discussion lasted for some time, and Richter and Sleglinde have decided to stay. Alright. You can stay. Just stay there. I don't know how you survive, but stay. And now we need to deliver some alloys and food over. I don't have that for the moment. Alright, the next move is over. We will probably have some extra hours again in the sector 1. And here we have it now. Optimal. Perfect. And let's actually enable the cryonic pot there once more. To waken a few more people up. Research-wise, oh, we are only at 5. I don't need to worry about that. All integrity is down. There's more iron coming in. Those cargo ships really can't take that many, that much cargo, right? And this one here needs to go back to the Tycoon. No, you can't do that. All right. I don't blame it. Are we already mining the ice here? 380? Yes. All right. That mining ship is going to Protagoras right now to mine the ice over it. It's starting now. That's that. Uh, provide resources to support the Protagoras crew. So this is the next step for that. And then we also need to research the telescopic pole upgrade. So we do need some science points for that. Where do we get science points? Another interesting question. We need points of interest on the map still. Unfortunately, there are none. All right, event completed. Ah, 45 uh, research points. Analysis allowed our team to establish new theories about the impact of the electromagnetic fields. And with that, we can leave it again. Um, before we, before that, however, we collect the science points. And with that, we will be able then to also research the telescopic pole. 
uh, that we are going to need for that next mission. And only with the telescopic pole can we then send resources over here to the Protagoras, right? So that's that. Um, the ice is already being mined. Very good to see. Where is it going then? We don't have the, the stockpile for that yet. We do have the silicon. Hmm, 11 electronics. That sounds good, actually. We have the carbon here. We have the electronics here. And the chronic pots. I will need another stockpile, unfortunately, for the ice, right? So there would be ice now. And in that case, yeah, another stockpile will cost me something. I think 15, was it? 10. Yeah, 10 we can afford, but now nah, we can't really afford that because I don't have the space for it. Um, a new request awaits your oh no, I hate those requests. Uh, where is it? We need to get the trust levels up again. Um, no, I'm not pledging this. They will come around anyway. Oh yeah, trust is at 32. We need to hurry up here. Now, what I will need to waste my alloys on right now is trust stuff. So for that, we have the stability, the alternative life center that I can still build here um, in the center. Let's do this. It's going to be costly. Very costly. This will then stabilize our position here in sector 1. In sector 2, we will also still need one of these. And that is then probably one that we can squeeze in here. Right, like this one. Also going to be quite costly. But let's build it. Fate decides upon us. How we react to these situations. Once the trust goes to zero, the game is over. So we can't do this. Then we would have mutiny. I mean, it's all in their minds, right? They're actually living a pretty comfortable life. <laughs> they just think that I'm bad. Because, yeah, well, they think that. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. Yeah, it's continuing to fall. Working conditions at least are optimal now. I don't need to wake anyone up anymore. Here we still have some extra hours once more. Um, but that's fine. Food-wise is positive at the moment. I don't need to worry about one thing at least. And we are also out of alloys. Hull integrity continues to decline now. There's some iron coming in again. Thank you. Alright, life center built. There you go. And with that, holy cow, we have neutral again. Neutral gives me at least 0.8 trust per cycle, right? <laughs> it's not much. And this one has also been finished now, the genetic Conatus Memorial. And with those two, uh, if there's no other penalty coming, we have stabilized that 1.4 trust upgrade again per cycle. So I don't need to worry about that. We are also having some alloys in again. So the repairing could continue now with the second one too. However, we also need 100 alloys then for the... Yeah, for repairing of the Protagoras. Together with 100 food. So food-wise, it's at zero. I'm not waking anyone up anymore. We might need to build another insect farm. Yeah. We might need to do this. Which then in turn also requires workers again. Which then in turn will probably also reduce the working conditions once more. Yeah. We have the research points. Let's continue with um, the Protagoras Diagnostics upgrade. The retractable telescopic pole. That is something very good. It's coming along now. And then we only need to re uh, provide the resources to the crew. I mean, it's not like we have other problems, right? We are, we are helping them too. Alright, we have enough silicon for now, I think, so I can really completely focus my my fleet. Go out there again. I completely focus them on... Let's put iron in. There's no food out there. Uh, not that we really need that. How much How much are we... Oh! We have, we have mined all the ice. We don't need to collect it. Very good. I mean, I know we need ice at some point, water for the crop farms, but right now we are really golden with that. Perfect. So the ship continues again with getting us iron in, and we don't need to mine ice, right? We just need to mine iron ore. Perfect, perfect. Um, that means now we only need to deliver the resources. We are researching that. Hmm, anything else for my science ships? Doesn't look like it, right? Nope. We could send some probes somewhere, but I think other than that, we really just need to wait now. 
There's some iron here still. I'm all in for iron. We always need that. At least both of my factories are working for now. Yeah, of course. These accidents are, are, are getting on my nerves. At least for now, they are automatically being rebuilt, so I don't need to worry about that. Hull integrity uh, is below it now. Oh! Construct a retractable telescopic pole now in the exterior view. How much does it cost me? 60 polymers. We can afford this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, it will continue to decline though my hull integrity, so after that we will need to really push hard for it. Alright, trust is going up. Food is also going slightly up. I will still don't need, I think, another insect farm. Alright, at last we have the 100 alloy, we have 100 food. Let's go ahead. We have also finished the telescope. Now we should be able to do it. No, we don't. We need to orbit the Protagoras. Are you kidding me? This is getting really complicated. And with moving it over, of course, energy-wise, we should be fine. How long does it take me to get over there? Four cycles! That's quite a lot of time. And we can only survive three cycles in each sector. This is crazy. Um, I will probably just need to reduce some of my consumption, energy consumption there for the, for the time being, right? So uh, the electronics factory uh, is 30. We don't really need the polymer factory online right now. Let's try this. Ah, we... How much does a battery cost me again? 40 alloys. That is just so expensive. Uh, I can afford one more here. Ah, 40 alloys, really. Let's build another battery here. In sector 2, though, I don't think that we have such a high energy consumption. Yeah, the steel mill. We could also turn off. The rest is really mandatory, though such a big station that we have right now. Yeah, I think after this battery here, we should be fine to travel over. Okay, it's all rather stable for now. Uh, let's move. There is no way of uh, how we should do this otherwise. Uh, four cycles. Perfect, and battery is now depleting. However, what we can do, uh, because it, it's probably not going to last for just just one cycle, really. So if we save it down a bit here, I don't need the stockpile for the cryonic pots. I don't need the stockpile for the electronics here. Um, we have a lot of crew quarters. No, that that's really not costing us that much. Um, I can definitely turn off the probe launcher for the moment. I don't need that. The docking base we should keep active. Mm, the tech lab. Let's deactivate that. I don't need to research anything right now. In the other sector, I've already turned down both of my factories that are costing me quite a bit. Um, and the steel mill also doesn't really need to work for now, right? We have enough alloys being produced in the other sector for now. And yeah, I think with that, we are actually looking good now, are we? Batteries are depleting further. Entering extreme low temperature environment. What? Oh, we are going through a, a dangerous cloud there at the moment. A new request awaits your attention. And we're losing a lot of hull integrity there at the moment. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Can we survive this? Should I have saved the game before doing this? I don't know. And halfway through, the batteries are depleting further. Environmental effects. How can the environment go through the hull? It does it. The station is surrounded by a freezing mist. The hull and our EVA workers are at risk. Mm, EVA. Let's turn down one of them. This will really bring the hull down, but it's it's for the best, I think. And there was a request. Is that right? Where's the request? There it is. Um, avoid entering space weather for 20 cycles. A little rain never hurts. Let's do this. And let's turn it down for now. We lose now 100 per cycle. Which should be fine. Which should be fine.
Alright, we have arrived. And we're now in the orbit of Protagoras. Over there it is. Well, let's bring back the EVA airlock. At least one of them. We can still work with a bit of depletion there. Even though, wait a second, look at that. One is actually enough right now by the looks of it. Alright, it seems like one is enough right now to have a positive balance. That would be amazing. Um, I don't need to have any other factory activated for now. Research I also don't need. Tech lab I don't need. Let's put the stockpile for electronics back online. But other than that, we are looking good. That was fine. And now we should be able to reboot the Protagoras core systems. Now we should be able to yeah, re-establish internal infrastructure and food distribution and reboot the Protagoras. It's going to be quite uh, expensive. And let's use one of my cargo ships. We are right next to it, right? So it should not be taking that long. And there's the Protagoras. Actually should not be trapped in ice anymore, right? Or perhaps it is not trapped any longer. I don't know. By the way, we have totally forgotten about our colonists in Devil. <laughs> so they're still sitting around there. Let's put this to high priority. And at least one of my ships. Uh, yeah, let's make it one of them here. He's bringing them back. That's 30 more colonists. We can definitely take that in. <laughs> Poor souls. They're still alive though. That's a good thing. Alright, lots of iron in at the moment. Holy cow, we are swimming in iron. There's also lots of iron coming in here at the moment. I think that's because we are surrounded by high quality sources here. Yes, because the cargo ships don't need to transport that or that don't need to travel that far anymore. And they really can just pump it full here. Also, this one is filling up with the alloys and the food. And soon we'll have Protagoras being rebooted. And then, yeah, well, new events are going to take place. Stay tuned. <laughs>